Okay, so here I am with an empties and it is a lot of stuff. So I'm going to lay it all out on the bed. Crap. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, So this is all the stuff that I got done um, and I do have things that are on in different projects um, this was actually pretty nice it was a hair mask type of a thing um, and it was pretty nice I did really enjoy it I don't know if I'd go out and buy it however um, but I did enjoy it quite a bit I'm gonna zoom in so that everything I held up is going to be a little bit more visible. And of course, there's the dog. And I pulled this out of my drawer full of stuff. I have, you guys know, I have drawers full of product that I'm trying to use up. And there it goes. And this Briogeo Don't Repair Deep Conditioning Mask was actually quite nice. I did use this quite a bit. I used the entire thing up, but I enjoyed it quite a bit. Okay, and then there's the CeraVe Skin um, Skin Renewing Cream Serum. I don't buy CeraVe anymore since I found out they are selling in China, um, which makes them no longer cruelty-free by any standard. So anyway, I did like this very much, um, but there are alternatives available at the drugstore. This here, yeah, I can't believe I finished this stuff. Okay, so this is um, Aloe Vera Cracked Heel Rough Spot Cream, Advanced Clinicals. I got this at Marshall's, and these are like huge tubes. This is 8 ounces. I can't believe that I used it all up, but I did. <laughs> um, then I think this was in a project at some point. I'm not... Oh, 100 Colorful Empties. I think it was pink. Um, this was a body scrub. There we go. I want you guys to be able to read this stuff. I know sometimes people complain if they can't read it. Um, and this is a body scrub that I did enjoy, but it made kind of a little bit of a mess in the shower. So I don't think um, a body scrub person. So I think I did use every bit, but I, I don't think I would buy that again. Okay, I also finished this Bioderma. It's a little three ounce bottle. Um, I do really like this stuff, but it's not cruelty free, so I wouldn't buy it, but it does work very well. Oh, and I used up um, another salon nail thing. I kept one in there so that you could see the color. Um, it was like a sparkly pink. Uh, I do have quite a few of these that to use up, so um, I did use one of these up. Whoa. I think there might be another one of those in here. Okay, and then there's this chapstick, which was an AM and PM chapstick. It was, um, I think the yellow one was the one with sunblock. So I used this all the way up until the very last nub, um, but it's two-sided. And this one was nighttime, and this one was daytime. Okay, and I finished up this Living Proof. Um, Restore mask treatment. I honestly, honestly, if I had to choose between two hair masks, I would choose the Briogeo over the Living Proof one. I like it, but it was not quite as good as the Briogeo mask was. Um, then, of course, there is this Barbasol Pure Silk. Barbasol is cruelty-free. Um, so, anyway, these are like a dollar, so they're pretty cheap. But I really like that. Um, this is one of the first things I finished that was in the Colorful Empties, and this is Delectable. Um, iced gingerbread scent, 
and I really liked it. I like a couple of delectable things, but when I went to buy it, the shipping was outrageous, and so I didn't I didn't buy it. Okay, and I know there's another one of these in there somewhere, but we did finish, my daughter and I finished the Pharmacy Brightening uh, Face Masks. We got these in BoxyCharm a long time ago. This is an eyeliner that I finished. I do liquid liner. I'm not sure what brand. Um, I'll probably figure that out later and, and you know, do one of those like, oh my goodness. I can't believe I couldn't remember. But anyway, I like liquid liners and I use them up pretty quickly, especially when they're sample size like this one is. So, um, yeah, so you'll probably see more of these in the future. Okay, I did finish this Alginist cream. I really liked it. Alginist, however, is not a cruelty-free brand. So even when it's on sale, I won't be buying it. Um, this was a gift from somebody. I really loved it, but I won't be buying that. Okay, and this has been um, bouncing around and trying to get finished for a while. Oscar Blondie, and this is hair mousse. It's very nice. It comes out like whipped cream, so it's really, really nice. Here's the other delectable thing that I absolutely love. This is body lotion, and this is the very last delectable that I have. <laughs> I love the smell of this. This one is coconut and cream, and it smells wonderful, but the shipping costs almost as much as this did, so not a go-go. This Glytone, I didn't really like this very much. It's a body wash. I like most Glytone things, but this just was not a very satisfying body wash. It got me clean, but I didn't really like it that much. Okay, if you want to set your mouth and lips on fire, go for Tom, Tom's uh, toothpaste. Um, although if you rinse your mouth with warm water, the fire is far less. I am not buying Tom's anymore. Um, I've been buying Hello Toothpaste instead, and I like it much better. I tried all different varieties of Tom's, and no matter which one I did, it was screaming spicy peppermint. I, I just don't like it. A lot of people love it. I just don't. Um, I really enjoyed the rest of this Pacifica Natural Beauty Seafoam Cleanser. Um, it is one of my favorite face washes. Very satisfying. You can see it's in a project. It was halfway done now. It is empty. I do go through skincare stuff pretty quickly. And I have these two Erno Laszlo um, Hydrofel and Fettle on there for dry skin. I have the bar soap, but I don't put that in anything. But um, I did really enjoy both of these. Unfortunately, Erno Lasso also sells in China, so I won't be able to buy any of his stuff in the future, unless he leaves China, um, which is doubtful. This um, Briogeo Rosarico Restorative Leave-In Conditioning Spray, whoops, is very nice. I really do like this. Um, I would consider buying the full size, but it is kind of expensive. This is totally uh, Vino source. It's funny, I just started using up all the stuff that I haven't been using, and so it's good. It's very satisfying. This was very nice. Um, I, not any better than anything else that I have been using, and I used it as a serum, which I believe it is, yes, serum. Um, it's okay. Um, not, not that wild about it. I won't mess it. Be Fine Exfoliating Cleanser. This was like rubbing yourself with a Brillo pad. It was, I love Be Fine brand stuff, but this was um, really, really coarse almonds and oats in there, and it just really scr was scratchy. I have a couple of Eucerins. One is Original Healing, and the other is... Um, Let's see, one of them is Repair Lotion, the other one is, well, I guess they're pretty much the same kind of thing. 
They were good for my dermatitis when I had it, but I have since found a clone at CVS that is actually better. They're not cruelty free. Okay, and then there's this. It was not in any project, but it was in my drawer waiting to be used, and it's uh, actually a body wash. The Seaweed Bath Company. Um, I think they might be cruelty free. This was really, really nice. Very nice. And I, I would consider buying this. There's another thing I would consider buying is this Living Proof. This was pretty much the best dry shampoo that I used. Um, wow. Can't believe I used all this. This is Pre de Provence. And this is Argon. It's hard to read it, hand cream, but look, it's like I, I used the living crap out of that. So this was one of my favorite hand creams. I have to investigate if it's cruelty free or not. This is not, and this is one of those things that you put on when your skin is still wet. I just have to see if CVS has their own version because I did really like this, but yeah, I, I, yeah. Um, can't buy it again. Oh, and here's another Eucerin. This one is Eczema Relief. And I really did like this, but like I said, uh, CVS has since made a um, version of their own that is every bit as good. Okay, and this is Glytone Cream Cleanser. I didn't like this, which I was really kind of surprised. I've used the gel um, cleanser before, but this actually really kind of bothered my skin a little bit, and I, I just really didn't like it. I was kind of surprised, because I like pretty much everything from Glyton. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, got a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, this is SNR Bear Sage and Sage and Row is actually the company, and it is Bare Shave Cream. I really liked this. This is really nice. Honestly, if they're cruelty free, I would consider getting it. It's like shaving yourself with lotion, and it's really super nice. I have some makeup stuff I will save till last. Um, then I did finish this Marcel 8 in 1. It's my the very last serum that I have from Marcel. Um, I purchased a couple sets of it from Birchbox, and I just haven't been because there are so many other things that I have to use up. But I would buy this, definitely. Okay, I finished this poor dermabrasion from Dr. Brandt. Um, I really like this a lot, but Dr. Brandt's not cruelty-free. The secret to this is to rub it on and let it sit for two minutes, and it really makes your skin smooth. Problem is, it's not cruelty free, so anyway, that's it. Then there is this Ole Henriksen, and it is African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser. This was in, I believe it was in one of my project pans. Um, I think it was on under red for the label. This was creamy, fabulous, amazing. Buy it at Marshalls if you can find it. Um, it's expensive, so I bought mine at Marshalls. Uh, absolutely fabulous. Absolutely love it. It's Uli Henriksen African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser. All skin types. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. This is uh, Pacifica Face Scrub. And this was nice, but... Um, Nothing to write home about. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. It's called Glow Baby. I don't think I would buy this again because it isn't even registering that well in my memory. So, yeah, it's not that great. This is great, but I can't afford it. Um, and I do believe Replenix is cruelty-free, but I'm not positive. This is the Eye Repair Cream. It has a tiny bit of retinol in there, and it just seems to really smooth the eye area out. Then there is this Good Medicine Honey Dew. Um, and I used this up and enjoyed the heck out of it, but 
um, I think it was ready to expire pretty soon. So that's one of the reasons I did skincare use-ups. Um, oh yeah, and these are from Paparazzi, and they're just nail polish drying drops. They have this stuff at CVS. I don't know if Paparazzi is also at, like, Target or one of those, but anyway. Um, I already have, um, another one that my daughter and I are working on, so, yeah. This is, um, antioxidant lip balm from... Organic Pharmacy. Anyway, this was nice. Not awesome. So that's why I'm not going to kill myself trying to figure out what it is. I know it's a lip lip balm. Uh, yep, and here's another thing. This is green tea. <coughs> Excuse me. Concentrate cream. Um, and this was nice, but I, I don't know. Some of the 100% pure stuff is not that great. And this is one of those things. Um, this was very nice. Murad, Murad Rapid Collagen Infusion is just basically a cream. It's a very nice cream. <laughs> um, I think Murad may still be cruelty free, in which case I, I don't know. I would consider it, but I'm not positive that I would buy this one. Okay, I had this Clinique face wash. I have to confess, I've always loved Clinique Face Wash. Um, this is the Facial Soap in Mild, and it was clear, and it was wonderful, and it felt good. But I can't buy it, because Clinique is still selling in China, so shame. I really like this. I would buy it if they went through the steps and became cruelty-free. This is Cuccio, and this is... Uh, balancing lotion. I'm not that wild about this stuff, but I used it all up. <clears throat> oh, I got this Hello in a Walmart beauty box. Let me show you what I did. <laughs> Remember how I said I'm always looking for a cruelty-free toothpaste that I like? This one I really like. This is Hello Anti-Plaque and Whitening um, Toothpaste. And I went out and bought the big one because I love this stuff and it actually works and it's wonderful. So anyway, there we go. That's one of my first tried it and bought it. <laughs> um, I had another one of these Phyto Replenish Oils. I think I've, I've talked about these ad nauseum. Um, I had quite a few sent to me that I'll be working through. I really like that. Dermalogica Active Moist. This is actually my favorite Dermalogica face cream, um, the Active Moist. Um, this one that's labeled as smooth is not my favorite, but I really like this one. I would consider buying a full size. Then there is Skin Laundry, and this is a facial soap that is just amazing. I absolutely love it. <laughs> but there are so many... Um, it's very expensive. There are so many that are similar that unless this one on sale, I probably wouldn't buy it. Okay. Let's go over these real quick. These were not in any pro project. Um, okay, so I used up a Dove that I had in my linen closet. I think this is the very last one that I had. Very nice. I absolutely love it. If Dove actually could verify that their bath products are absolutely cruelty-free, I would buy it. But Beauty 360, which is CVS brand, makes one almost identical, and it's actually a lot cheaper. So even if that one, even if Dove goes cruelty-free, I would probably stick with Beauty 360, the CVS brand, because it, it works great. I really liked this Gold Bond um, Radiance Renewal <coughs> Hydrating Cream. Um, I, I absolutely, I really loved it, so I would definitely buy the big size. Um, it's really nice. Okay, and I used up Swispers Cotton Rounds. You're not going to see a lot of these because I did buy eco-friendly um, 
washable reusable rounds but if you have to buy anything buy Swispers because Swispers or Beauty 360 are two brands that are um, cruelty free so anyway <clears throat> yeah believe it or not cotton rounds can be cruelty free um, this was also I really kind of like the Aveeno moisturizers um, this was really nice and uh, I wish it was cruelty free but I do notice that CVS is creating clones of these products from Aveeno also so I'll be looking at those um, this is the Pores No More mask. Um, it's Pores No More vacuum cleaner. I have a giant size of it that I got in a box at some point. I really do like this. It's not cruelty free, but I really, really do like this. So, um, I wouldn't buy it because it's not cruelty free, but I will enjoy the one that I got. I only have a few things left now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take the little jar out. Um, I finished this tea balm eye cream. Honestly, the way I was able to finish this was I kept it at my desk so I could pat it on when I forgot to put eye cream on. So that was actually in um, my colorful empties, so that is done. These two were subs that I put into my colorful empties. Um, and I'll talk about them when I do that video. I had to eliminate a product that had blue on it because it was too irritating to my skin. I think it was probably too old to use. Anyway, I enjoyed both of these. Dr. Jart uh, Water Fuse and Laneige uh, Water Sleeping Mask. Don't think they're cruelty free, but they're used up now. So um, I did really enjoy these. And now there is a bunch of makeup left. So I'm pretty sure I did not include any makeup in my use up. Okay, this is a Rimmel Mascara um, Wonder Lash. Uh, and it's not cruelty free. I do love it. I absolutely love the Rimmel mascaras, but I am not buying them anymore because Rimmel is not cruelty free. Um, I have two mascaras. One is Borghese. I didn't like this that much. Um, it was okay, but it wasn't like stupendous. Uh, it just left no impression. <laughs> This one, however, was the opposite. This is Laura Geller, and it's called um, Lash Boss. I really liked it. I like the brush that's here, and it works really great. So I would buy this. It's Laura Geller Lash Boss. They're both sample size. These are two full-size eyeliners that are done. They're both 24-7. These break my heart to see go. <laughs> Um, let's see what colors are they. One is retrograde and the other is demolition. Demolition is a brownish color and retrograde is like a black color. They're both empty. And finally one last thing and it is a mascara and it is by Doucet and this was Punk Volumizer. I did like it but I didn't find it like earth shaking but it was good it was nice so anyway there's my pile of empties <laughs> I hope you enjoyed me going over them um, I definitely will separate the things out that belong in projects and bag them up so that I can update those projects um, with the pro stuff that I used up but anyway I hope you enjoyed this and um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That does actually help me. And um, uh, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. And I hope you have a beautiful evening. Thank you for watching, taking the time out of your day, and have a beautiful evening. Good night.